there we go the microphone is back on welcome or welcome back everyone i'm your host dr fox 2000 you're watching volcano x live stream and uh welcome back or welcome uh, i see aranda is here welcome randa and uh yeah this is the only uh, volcano in iceland that is currently erupting just so you know and thank you for the welcome backs from Sue and Kevin and CND Boy and Henry and I hear you, Dr. Ebby 2000 from Sharon Stewart. <laughs> oh, I gotta laugh at that. It's okay. And uh, anyway, all uh, cool. So, yeah, um, it is kind of a neat uh, thing to be able to see this and uh, see it uh, continue to uh, uh, pick up a little bit of pace. And, of course, compared to uh, what we were seeing this morning, it is um, a lot more active right now. Um, not only because it's dark and we can see better, but also the fact that we are actually seeing lava fly out of there. We were not seeing that this morning. So it, uh, it's almost like it's starting to perk back up, and uh, we like that. Hoping that we will see more, and, uh, you know, like uh, some of the, uh, well, the volcanologist uh, kind of uh, said things that, um, you know, could have happened is with that we have a blockage in the, uh, the columnar tube that is feeding the actual thing. And only portion of the lava is getting by and uh, hopefully uh, we'll see more popping out of there and that would be uh, pretty cool um, hopefully uh, the blockage will clear and we can enjoy watching uh, lava plumes high uh, sky high so um, thanks uh, JB as well for the welcome back Sharon Stewart says hey doc lol I was uh, uh, lagging I uh, zipped back to hear you better. Uh-oh. Uh, you were lagging? Uh, all caught up now. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm glad you're caught up. All right. Um, while we're doing the show, let's uh, do a volcano report for um, uh, yesterday and today. <coughs> mm. Sorry. Um Let's uh, get out of here. We got, uh, of course, we got seven volcanoes or act, uh, yeah, late Thursday's uh, volcanic activity, seven volcanoes. Let's start out with uh, Mayon, Luzon Island in the Philippines, eruption on, uh, uh, what is it, a volcanic ash unknown, uh, or a volcanic ash cloud unknown height, reported at 20 hundred. Uh, San Gay in Ecuador, uh, volc uh, light volcanic ash emissions to 19,000 feet or 5,800 meters from uh, 2015 uh, last night. Uh, Sakurajima in Japan erupted to 6,000 feet or 1,800 meters and that happened at 2,100 last night. And Nevado del Ruz in Colombia, a uh, Vona report received to uh, 21,000 feet uh, 40, uh, sorry, 6,400 meters at uh, 2,100 last night. And um, Manam in uh, Papua New Guinea, uh, continuous eruption to 7,000 feet or 2,100 meters reported at, at uh, 2,230 last night. Uh, Reventador in Ecuador, a new volcanic ash emissions to 15,000 feet or 4,600 meters reported at 2,230 last night. And Ijen in East Java, Indonesia, our blue lava specialist. Intermittent discrete weak emissions to 10,000 feet or 3,000 meters reported at 2,300 last night. And uh, today's activity, we've got a whopping 11 of them. So let's get through those. Um... Uh, I hope uh, she was uh, fine. Uh, tell her a uh, piece if uh, she shows up. Yes, a wasted time. Hmm. Well, okay, cool. 
Anyway, uh, let's see, uh, volcanic activity, 11 volcanoes. Uh, we'll start out with uh, Ibu on Halimahera Island, Indonesia. Uh, intermittent discrete volcanic ash to 6,000 feet, 1,800 meters at 45 minutes after midnight. Uh, Ubinas in uh, Peru, intermittent of, uh, emissions reported at uh, 1.15 a.m. And then intermittent emissions to 22,000 feet or 6,700 meters reported at 13.15. Uh, Southern Kaya in Peru, uh, continuous emissions reported at 1.30 this morning. And uh, then a continuous ash emissions to 23,000 feet or 7,000 meters reported at 12.15, uh, just after lunch. Uh, Nevado del Ruz in Colombia, uh, no volcanic ash observed at 3 a.m., and then a volcanic ash emissions observed to 21,000 feet or 6,400 meters reported at 1715. Popo Cantepetl, uh, central Mexico, right near Mexico City. Uh, new volcanic ash emissions observed in a satellite to 20,000 feet, 6,700 meters reported at 430 this morning. And uh, no volcanic ash emissions reported at 1615. Uh, Mayon, Luzon Island, uh, Philippines, eruption to 9,000 feet, 2,700 meters, reported at 545. And uh, San Gay in Ecuador, continuing volcanic ash emissions to 20,000 feet, 6,100 meters, reported at 715. Uh, volcanic ash emissions continue to 20,000 feet or 6,100 meters, reported at 1315. Uh, Reventador in Ecuador, continuing uh, occasional volcanic ash emissions to 16,000 feet uh, or 4,900 meters, reported at 9.45 a.m. Uh, Semeru, East Java, Indonesia, intermittent and uh, discrete uh, volcanic ash emissions observed to 15,000 feet. 4,600 meters reported at 12 noon. And then we had Sakurajima in Japan erupted to 11,000 feet or 40, uh, sorry, 3,400 meters. And that was from 1315. And Shisheldon on the Aleutian Islands, Alaska. Uh, eruption started estimated to 15,000 feet. 4,600 meters reported at 14.45. So that Shisheldon that was going to sleep is back in action. And uh, that is interesting. And thank you, Sue, for sending in that wonderful report. And uh, I think that's all we got there for today. I, I do have uh, some other photos we want to uh, share. And um, these uh, photos... I'm going to have to save them uh, one at a time here. I'm going to I'll put them in a specific a folder. And um, we'll see if we can uh, get those. Uh, okay. Well, we'll save them. Uh, they all have... In, in, oh, oh, hang on. I've already got them saved, apparently. Okay, uh, that is neat. Uh, they did save. I thought they didn't earlier. And, um, yeah, we'll uh, show you a few photos of a secret volcano. Um, <laughs> I know, it's not really a secret volcano. But uh, I'll uh, show you some uh, neat uh, shots here. Just as soon as I, I figure out where the heck I'm going to do it. I uh, need to find that page. And uh, move this out of the way. Is this the one that I'm on? Uh, it might be. Um, yeah, that's not really where I wanted to put it, but... Alright, let's um, kill that for Bennett. Actually, I'm going to get rid of a couple other uh, photos here. And uh, remove those, and then I will load some photos up for us. And uh, we can uh, take a look at them. And... Uh, uh, they are um, interesting photos, and I'm sure you guys will like them. Uh, there's only six of them, but um, they're neat. 
So we'll uh, do them one at a time. And uh, here's the first one. Uh, does anyone know what a volcano that is? Oh, I don't know. Everyone's being quiet. What volcano is that? Uh, okay, uh, it's a top secret volcano. <laughs> uh, let's get the next shot in here. And uh, there we go. And uh, surely not Ragnar. Oh, surely it is. <laughs> uh, I don't know what surely has got to do with it, but it's a Ragnar. <laughs> There's another shot. Um, these are some nice uh, shots that were sent in by Yvonne Kunkel today. And uh, we uh, thank Yvonne very much for sending these. And uh, they are some awesome uh, shots. Uh, drone shots from uh, above and looking into uh, Ragnar. And look at the mess inside. My God, somebody forgot to clean up. Wonky donkey, we have a job for you. Uh, we're going to need a long-reach digger. Uh, we need to clean that uh, bowl out. <laughs> uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, next one is this guy. And uh, we'll get that in there as well. Um, uh, wonky donkey, are you on that? The long-reach digger is what we need. A backhoe with a long, long arm. <laughs> um, or a big uh, yeah gonna need a big shovel uh, and uh, a wonky uh, you, you can actually uh, if you go down uh, down the highway there uh, just uh, yeah, out of the parking lot and head back towards Grindavik I think it's only about uh, three kilometers there you'll see them uh, sitting up on the uh, 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 north side there of the road uh, by, at the mine. I'm sure they'll let you borrow one or two. Um, it'll be okay. And uh, let's uh, keep going here. Um, here's another one. And uh, this is kind of a neat shot. I like this one. Uh, is there a video drone uh, flying over Ragnar on YouTube? Oh, I'm sure there's lots of drones. Um, that have uh, flown over it but these were uh, just some uh, shots that Yvonne uh, captured and uh, decided to share with us and, um, you know coming from a volcanologist obviously they they are there for a reason right so and here's the last one and uh, this of course is the I think the the iconic view if you will of uh, a volcano that's no longer erupting and um, that is actually if you're looking at that photo I I really like that photo because if you look um, and I know I got to get my crayons going to uh, kind of uh, show that up um, right here that's theater hill and uh, that's the uh, saddle area where the lava went through and this is uh, the one we call Ant Hill over here. And, and this is a story Hooter. There's the ridge. And there, up there is where I did my stream from. And uh, of course, uh, that is goes down there. Actually, I should have gone down there. And so that's pretty cool. And uh, that is a kind of an awesome... Uh, shot there we'll clear that off and uh, I just thought we'd share these and uh, thank you Yvonne Kunkel for uh, providing those uh, shots and uh, they are actually very nice uh, Kathy it collapsed that well no this this is Ragnar Kathy uh, this is Ragnar from uh, well these shots were from today but that is uh, Ragnar that's what it was um, looking like uh, today and it has been decaying quite a bit. Um, as you can see, all that rubble inside. Uh, things have uh, fallen in and so on. Uh, Oz says hugs and hearts and Dr. Fox and the gang. Uh, thanks and there, Oz. Appreciate that. 
anyway that's the inside of a Ragnar that looks pretty cool and uh, just thought that we'd share those with you guys and that is a pretty awesome stuff and uh, back to our uh, regular viewing and uh, hopefully uh, we'll be okay with that I'm just gonna get rid of uh, some of these other things and remove them so I don't have too many open spots there there we go anyway it is technically a break time I just I figured I'd throw those in we've done the volcano report we got that so after the break we will come back and we'll do some earthquakes around the world and uh, we'll see what we can do Oz if you're leaving you have a good night and uh, or a good day depending on where you're at there time wise I know it's Australia so it's hard I don't know what time it is there um, you guys are of course you're in the future you're already in tomorrow <laughs> so anyway uh, good night or a uh, good day there uh, Oz and uh, all the best hugs to you and um, I am going to go take a break ladies and gentlemen so keep smiling we'll leave the uh, lovely lava fountain on here and don't go away and I'll be back uh, like a, a boomerang and return Oz uh, yep I'd be like a boomerang I still haven't gone out and tried to throw that thing I <laughs> I'm a, a little bit nervous I uh, first off I don't like chasing things and of course with my luck the boomerang won't come back because I can't throw it properly I, I don't have skills right anyway I'm going to go take that break, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, glad to be here, and uh, thank you. Uh, thanks to Doc. Uh, thank you, Kevin Haynes, for renewing your membership. And that is very kind of you, and I appreciate that wonderful support and uh, the fact that you have been here and uh, joining in for a long, long time. Really do appreciate that. Thank you, Kevin. All right, uh, Arliss is off to make us dinner, uh, going uh, tubing tomorrow uh, down the river. Awesome, awesome. Ooh, nice. I like the lava. All right, I'll be back in uh, five or six or seven minutes or uh, thereabouts. And uh, keep smiling. Here comes some music, and uh, we'll see what else we got after. Uh, we'll see what's shaken after the break. I'll be back.
we go. I'm back. Welcome or welcome back, everyone. I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000, and you're watching Volcano X a live stream. Glad to have you all on board. And, uh, uh oh, Clackers just got back. Oh, no. Thank you for the uh, welcome backs from uh, Sue and uh, Kevin and Jason and uh, Hank and uh, Bloxyban22 and of course a wonky donkey and I hear you Dr. Rebby 2000 quack <laughs> thanks Henry Nelson and the uh, Lizoid and uh, there is uh, I don't know uh, five by five from BMAT oh look at all those quacks uh, the uh, ducks are showing up quack. that's all because quackers came back Oh, wow, uh, Kevin Williams uh, throws in the 10-pound super chat. Uh, well done uh, for the, a brilliant uh, show for the uh, last uh, 25 days and uh, many more. Awesome. Thank you very kindly for that wonderful uh, super chat, Kevin Williams, and uh, appreciate that support. And uh, just uh, getting that noted down here. Uh, 10 pound uh, super chat appreciate it uh, very much Kevin thank you kindly and uh, we'll uh, continue on so awesome um, anyway let's uh, get at other things that we wanted to talk about here was earthquakes around the world I know this thing is uh, starting to pick back up a little bit I'm glad to see that we are actually seeing some lava popping out of there but let's get over and we'll have a look at today's earthquakes that have been happening around the world. And of course, here we are on our wonderful earthquake map. And we'll I'll start up here. Uh, Kamchatka Peninsula looks pretty quiet. And uh, the Aleutian Islands, we have a 4.0 near Rat Island at 8.26 this morning, 113.8 kilometers down. And uh, that is kind of in the middle of nowhere. A uh, few more little shakers here. Uh, likely going to help out Shisheldon. And uh, these are just little ones. 3.7 uh, from um, yesterday, actually. 20, uh, 23 and 3.7 from this morning at 6.39. Uh, so a little bit of shaking for those guys. And then we see a little bit bigger one right underneath here with a little a buddy and uh, that is a 4.2 from uh, 2350 uh, yesterday 10 kilometers down for him and then he's got a little friend right beside him there just a 2.5 uh, 5.9 clicks down from 11 minutes after midnight uh, the other one over there 3.0 so fairly a uh, small i'm not going to worry about that from a uh, 348 this morning and uh, sliding down the north american coastline we don't see too uh, anything too much that is big a bunch of little uh, spots there some interesting ones here in texas and uh, that is a 3.7 uh, getting a little bit bigger from 1805 and uh, 10.2 kilometers down and uh, that uh, siggy has been uh, dig digging holes again i think <laughs> i'm kidding i have no idea if he is the other one's a 2.8 over there and uh, that is in uh, Texas as well from 1804, uh, 7.9 kilometers uh, down. Uh, sliding down a little bit further, we don't see too much in Central America till we get here. Colombia, 4.3. Yesterday's 23.47, and uh, that is uh, 140.3 kilometers down. Ecuador, uh, no, uh, Peru already, and uh, just uh, very close to the border though. Ecuador is over on that side. So, uh, 4.8 and uh, that is from uh, 1417 25.7 kilometers down for him uh, sliding down a little bit more this looks like Chile it is no it's Argentina 4.5 and uh, that is uh, seven minutes after midnight and uh, 98.6 kilometers down for that 4.5 the other one definitely in Argentina a 4.8 and that was from 6 11 a.m. 165.8 kilometers down and nothing down here in the South Sandwich Islands let's go over and take a look at New Zealand 
as soon as that the chopper quits buzzing me, um, I hear him up there. I'm sure you guys hear him too. Uh, we have uh, been having uh, some out in western Texas. Uh, they say it uh, might be from fracking, uh, messing uh, with the crust. Hmm. Well, you know, the, the fracking guys all will, t will tell you that, oh, that doesn't happen. And, uh, that's just a coincidence. But it's amazing, though, that it happens to have happen in any place that they were fracking. And so, um, what is the, uh, the thing there? Anyway, 4.9 out in Tonga. 1738 was the time on that. 35 kilometers down for him. And uh, I don't, well, that looks like it's at the end of the Kermadec Ridge, basically. Not really anything major going on there. We I do see this one. Um, this is a Bali here. I'm not sure what island that is. Uh, Lombok uh, region. Anyway, that's from 1231. Uh, 7.8 kilometers down for that 4.4. Uh, uh, the other one up here, uh, just uh, to the west of uh, Sumatra, uh, 4.6, and uh, that is from uh, 1316, uh, 34.6 kilometers down. And then we've got a couple over here, a larger one, 5.6 in the Maluka Sea, uh, 5.48 a.m., uh, 24.6 uh, kilometers down, and the other little buddy right beside him, a uh, 4.4 from 1723. Uh, 54.1 clicks down for him. Sliding up a little bit more. We don't see anything else in uh, um, the Philippines, but we do have a little swarm here in, um, just off the coast of uh, Taiwan. Uh, we have a 4.8, uh, 6.25 a.m., 10 kilometers down. A 4.4 from 6.52, 10 kilometers down. And a 4.9 from 6.22. 10 kilometers down so that's a kind of what's shaking there uh, Japan had one uh, Tokyo is right about here and this is a little further to the north and uh, near uh, the east coast of Honshu uh, Japan and it's a 4.4 1327 82.3 kilometers down and we don't see anything else uh, going up there for the Kamchatka Peninsula we do see one here in China that is a 4.9 from uh, 2105 yesterday, 10 kilometers down. And these be Afghanistan or uh, very close. Yep, Afghanistan, 4.1, 1458, uh, 241.8 kilometers down for that one. The other one is a 4.4 from 1150. And that's a lot shallower at 37.9 kilometers down. Uh, let's see, anything else down here? Nothing in the Indian Ocean. We are still seeing more activity here in Africa. And of course, you know, by land now, you're going to have beachfront property here, man. I'm telling you, it's uh, worthy. And uh, this one is a uh, Tasmania. And uh, that is a 4.9 from 1606, uh, 10 kilometers down. And uh, moving up a little bit more, we don't see anything in uh, Turkey, nothing in uh, the uh, Saudi Arabia area. We do have one here in Greece, or actually that's Albania, and uh, just uh, north of Greece. And that is from 1419, and uh, 9.9 kilometers down for uh, that guy. And uh, of course, I will zoom back out. We don't see anything else, nothing along our mid-Atlantic ridge today. And uh, let's uh, take a look at uh, what we've got happening uh, there in Hawaii. And, of course, uh, nothing on the other islands. Uh, just uh, this one out in the water, 3.9. That's a little bigger than normal. And uh, that is uh, 9.24 a.m. Takeoff, three hours. You get Hawaii time. So uh, 6.24 this morning, uh, their time. 43.1 uh, kilometers down for that guy. And uh, let's uh, take a look at some of these other ones. We had two sitting on top of Katla here. We've got a 1.7 from 413 and 900 meters below or yeah, below sea level. And uh, this one is a 2.0 from 15 minutes after midnight. That'd be like, um, what is it? Uh, 2100, uh, um, 2115 
yesterday, uh, Hawaii time. Anyway, uh, that is from uh, 1.8 kilometers below sea level. Uh, we had one on the side of a Mauna Loa there, uh, 1.7, uh, 1256, and 3.3 kilometers below sea level. And uh, let's uh, grab these other ones in the Pahala region. Actually, well, this one being out a little bit in the water, but uh, 2.4 from 1626, 29.5 kilometers down. This one is a 2.2, 9.42 a.m., and 29 and a half kilometers down. This one right in Pahala, or very close. Yeah, it is right in Pahala. 2.0 and 1518, uh, 30.1 kilometers down. And this one uh, to the, uh, I guess, it'd be the west, southwest. Uh, 1.8 from uh, 2.39 this uh, morning or about 11.59 or 11.39 p.m. there uh, time. Uh, Kilauea, not Katla. Kilauea. I uh, thought I said Kilauea. Uh, Kilauea, uh, Katla. Ah, I got Iceland on my brains. This here is Katla. <laughs> oh. This is Kilauea. Um, well, actually, let me zoom out. This is Kilauea. Uh, this is Helama Umau Crater. <laughs> okay. Uh, if we want to get a precise. Anyway, a little bit of fun there. All right. Uh, so, um, uh, Siggy, you take care. Do your adulting. I know you have to do that. <laughs> See you later. Uh, it's unfortunate that you have to do adulting, but hey, it's one of those things. Um, anyway, that is our quakes for today, so nothing too uh, crazy or serious, and uh, we like that. Let's see what we've got on our multi-screen here. And of course, we are still seeing more uh, lava bits coming out of there. I wish we had bigger streams coming out of that volcano. I really, really do want to see this thing flowing like crazy. Um, you know, like really crank up the heat and uh, let's see it. And now that it's, it's a, a restricted nozzle, uh, that uh, pressure should be able to shoot that lava up even higher. And uh, that would be uh, really, really cool. Bye-bye-bye, uh, bye, Siggy. Okay, uh, Siggy. <laughs> uh, that's all I uh, cool. Uh, good night, oh, uh, Kasman81 heading out as well, saying good night all. Uh, I'm off to bed, uh, getting a migraine, and I need a dark room. All right, a dark room with lava, <laughs> lava lamp. Um, all right, uh, turn uh, turn the uh, sound off there, Kasman. Uh, you'll uh, be able to fall asleep to the uh, wonderful glow of lava. It is about time for me to take another break, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, after the break, we'll come back and we'll do some SO2 report. And uh, we'll uh, just, like I said today, we're kind of taking it easy, relaxing a little bit, so everything should be good. Kevin Haynes, thank you for that wonderful $2 super chat. And uh, appreciate that. Got it written down here. Awesome. Thank you kindly, uh, Kevin. Appreciate the uh, support. Very uh, kind of you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I will leave it on here for uh, right now. I'm going to go take a break. And uh, for those good people who are here, if you have not yet bought that like button, give it a quick um, thumbs up and uh, do what you can. It's live. I was worried uh, yesterday. Uh, it's alive? Yeah, uh, it's our volcano still doing things. Don't give up just yet. It's not over till it's over. <laughs> anyway, I will be back in about five or six or seven minutes. Keep smiling. Here's some uh, tunes in the meantime. And um, uh, play nice in the lava. Don't get too close. It uh, may pop and blow up and be really nasty to you. I'll be back. Thanks.
go uh, welcome or welcome back everyone uh, glad to have you all on board uh, of course I'm your host dr. Fox 2000 and you're watching volcano X live stream and our good friend uh, two pineapples popped in and I'm assuming it's Lou and uh, congratulations on uh, uh, both grandsons uh, well there all right uh, that is awesome uh, grandchild number two uh, congratulations are there and thank you for the uh, welcome backs from JSL and Kananaska's country as well as Sue appreciate that you guys thank you and uh, yeah and nice to uh, uh, see that uh, you got back there thanks uh, JB as well for the uh, welcome back and let's see uh, what else we want to kind of talk about well we know that this thing isn't uh, perking as much but I don't know I think it's uh, trying to wake back up here a little bit more activity um, this evening we're starting to see a little larger uh, larger plumes and uh, we definitely want to continue to see those yeah I had to take another drink there of a Pepsi that is that's all I do I consume Pepsi all right there we go um, so yeah I mentioned that we'd be uh, looking at the SO2 maps around the world and we'll uh, take a look at that in a second um, I'm hoping that this thing is going to pick up a little bit more and uh, we'll uh, see what transpires in the, the next uh, couple of days and hopefully we'll uh, see you know something revitalization if you will of, of this uh, wonderful volcano so um, you know right now it is a fairly quiet and we want to see a little bit more action anyway uh, let's take you over to the SO2 map hopefully that'll work there it is okay so uh, we'll uh, start out here where I kind of like starting out up on the Kamchatka Peninsula and of course we see stuff coming off of uh, Shivalash as well as Klyushevskoy and uh, Kurbinsky and they're all adding to that soup bowl here a uh, big circulation in the uh, uh, Bering Sea and of course and then we're also seeing uh, from Ibico and uh, doing its thing so uh, that is awesome and uh, moving over a little bit we see upward plumes from this area I wonder if a uh, chivalrous has anything to do with that <laughs> and uh, we uh, see a little bit more action there not sure what's going on over here could be a pulp a plant or something like that but um, interesting to see a little bit of SO2 being generated uh, don't worry Doc Kilauea can uh, pick up the slack as Iceland rests I hope so I hope so we just got to get them to uh, convince them to get more cameras there at different angles <laughs> that would be nice um that would really be cool so we'll uh anyway we'll work on that <laughs> uh northern canada and alaska not uh, that bad uh, everything that was up there all those fires have gone out um remnants are just coming down south from a churchill area we are still seeing some uh, fire spots up in northern alberta but really not that much out in the west anymore not till you get to uh, eastern Manitoba and uh, down into Ontario and then uh, through uh, Quebec here looks like they've got a circulation of uh, some sort here likely some rain involved in that washing out some of that SO2 out of the air and it looks like right now um, Sue's probably got higher SO2 levels there for her uh, in Nova Scotia and of course PEI and portions of uh, New Brunswick that'll likely drift upward across Newfoundland we'll see how that goes a little bit more sitting out here in the ocean and again waiting for rain to get rid of it and then of course from uh, Illinois on through about to uh, New York you see higher levels there but not that bad I mean it could be a lot worse uh, the rest of the uh, United States looks uh, pretty darn good 
you know, you've got uh, some population places where you're going to see some extra stuff. Uh, Mexico, Popocatepetl, uh, Mexico City, uh, not uh, that bad. We do see it going out into the Pacific, Central America doing its thing, so all uh, pretty cool there, um, kind of normal. And uh, Nevado del Ruz in here doing its thing. And uh, we'll keep going uh, further south. Uh, the circulation here is still kind of odd and uh, moving uh, downward. So everything from uh, Seven Kaya is still moving southward into uh, Chile. And of course, uh, getting across Argentina. Then, of course, our other spots here. Uh, we know there's some industrial stuff as well uh, happening uh, there. And uh, looks like uh, not that bad for most places. And uh, looks like Uruguay has uh, got a little bit of SO2 sitting in it, as well as uh, eastern portions uh, from uh, Buenos Aires on uh, up to uh, past Paysandu. And uh, that is a little higher uh, levels there. Uh, Brazil, not uh, too bad. And uh, going into the uh, southern areas here. Pretty clean looking. Uh, the only uh, spot there that we uh, see anything nasty from is a Michael a Volcano out in the South Sandwich Islands. I don't know if Michael made all that, but uh, that is interesting. And we are still seeing strange uh, plumes uh, here. And uh, still a little bit right here as well. And I'm thinking this might be from Easter Island area. Not sure where this is coming from. This is uh, odd. It's weird. Uh, likely something under the sea that we don't know about. A White Isle volcano still doing its thing there in New Zealand. Uh, looks like the oil refineries there near Melbourne very quiet. The coking plants north of uh, Sydney still throwing out quite a bit of SO2. Uh, looks like a Tofua is uh, really quiet right now. Mind you, they've got a weird weather pattern here where they've got a ridge forming. They might be getting some rain, keeping that SO2 out of the uh, out of the air. Uh, not so much coming from Yasur. Aoba and Gawa are still uh, doing their thing. Not that heavy today. Um, Manam is in here uh, with. Uh, the others here in Papua New Guinea are doing their stuff. And uh, then we've got Luotalak there in eastern Java, or sorry, eastern Indonesia. And uh, east of Java, we've got uh, Semeru, of course. A little bit of an elevated level in this area, and that's likely from Merapi. But Merapi really hasn't done all that much. It's not as uh, bad for SO2 as some of the other volcanoes. Uh, Jakarta, of course, producing a lot of SO2, and then Krakatau uh, right there. Uh, Anak uh, Krakatau, some of uh, Krakatoa uh, producing uh, some of that. So uh, pretty cool. Uh, De what is it, Dempo? I, I don't know if that that's adding to this mass. And then, of course, uh, going up here, it's hard to tell uh, where that's actually coming from. Uh, Currency or uh, Marapi uh, in that area and then up in the uh, top here. Um, I'm trying to think uh, what was it. Um, uh, I forgot the volcano that lives there. Um, starts with S. It'll come to me in a minute. <laughs> come on, uh, Sue. A uh, Cinnabon. Um, yeah, it's a Cinnabon there. I knew it started with an S, darn it. <laughs> uh, over here on this side, we've got Ibu and Dekono. Uh, they're both discreetly throwing out SO2. <laughs> and, uh, of course, I hear for uh, Mayon and Bulusan, that's creating uh, this one, uh, mostly from Mayon, I believe, uh, right now. And uh, <clears throat> doesn't look like Taal is doing as much as uh, what Manila is. So uh, that is kind of interesting as well. Uh, still seeing uh, the uh, stuff coming out of uh, the Japanese uh, volcanic islands here. Interesting. And I'm not sure what this is uh, from. Um, that is interesting as well. We do see that big circulation there in the Japanese islands. I'm not sure what uh, is uh, really going to happen there. 
uh, but uh, we uh, do see uh, there Sakurajima still producing a fair amount of SO2 and uh, not seeing uh, quite as much of uh, the SO2 from uh, Sakurajima. So uh, that is okay. And then when we get up to ASO, we see that very large plume from ASO. So ASO is uh, doing its thing. Um, yeah, uh, that's uh, what I did say. This is Suwanosijima. Suwanosijima. Right there. See? <laughs> Isn't that? No, hang on. That says Tomisha. But th that's where it is. Right there. Um, you think this is from a Suwanosijima? Su? I don't believe so. Uh, that looks um, too much. Too much. I uh, don't think that's uh, from there. Not sure why this is all heavy here either. That looks uh, interesting. And uh, of course, uh, Tokyo uh, produces a fair amount, but most of this over here, that's Asama Volcano. And uh, Asama san is uh, definitely uh, working away. Uh, no, I don't know where uh, that came from. Okay. Yeah, I'm wondering if uh, there is another uh, a volcanic, undersea volcanic vent here somewhere. Could be along these ridges or uh, even out here. Uh, there is a possibility of that. So uh, that is riddled with uh, Japanese islands there with a bunch of uh, different volcano uh, cones. So, uh, yep, a summer, uh, sub, uh, what? A subterranean. Uh, Subterranean? Uh, Submarinian. Uh, Submarinian? Oh, never mind. Um, under the water. <laughs> ah, kidding. It's all good. Uh, not that bad there in India today. And uh, sliding down, having a look at uh, South Africa. And we uh, see that plume and going way out. And uh, that is uh, going uh, quite far out. That is uh, from the... Uh, gold refineries and uh, boy that gold is dirty stuff and uh, all right Naya Moragira and Niragongo uh, here and a Democratic Republic of uh, the Congo as well as some coking plants in the area ah I beat you to it so ha <laughs> oh anyway Urta Ale right around here somewhere, uh, hard to tell. And uh, then of course we have uh, the uh, red spots here. Those are the oil refineries in Saudi Arabia and Iraq and Kuwait and uh, some in Iran. Um, uh, yes, you got them today. Yep, I, uh, I've been practicing. <laughs> no, I haven't. Oh, heavy SO2 levels still uh, here. Uh, at least uh, we're not seeing that uh, big chunky uh, plume. Yona is back. Welcome. I'm glad to have you here, Yona. And uh, Yona, of course, uh, from Iceland. Uh, we like Icelandic people. <laughs> Yona is a wonderful person. Anyway, uh, fairly heavy there in uh, the uh, western uh, Turkish uh, inlets and islands and also into uh, Greece. So. Um, kind of uh, makes you wonder where that came from. Uh, I know they had a bunch of fires there, so it's been uh, very dry and hot. And uh, looks like, uh, well, looks like Mount Etna stuff is getting blown over at the uh, top of the uh, Italian area, so uh, going uh, that away. Um, that's uh, not good for them, but uh, we uh, do see. Uh, Stromboli still adding to it and I'm not sure if we're getting, seeing a little bit come off of a volcano or not it's too hard to tell uh, because that circulation right there they likely got a storm happening and uh, looking at uh, most of Europe is not bad but it looks like England and uh, Scotland are being infiltrated by that plume that came across and uh, got into uh, Iceland as well and they've got another one coming on the uh, bottom side here and uh, that is going to hopefully dissipate before it gets there but um, looks like Iceland has got a fairly heavy SO2 
uh, come across from our previous uh, fires that were up in the northern, uh, I guess, uh, Baffin Island region and so on, where it's uh, mosses and grasses and things like that that were on fire, the lichen, etc. Et uh, too hard to uh, tell, though, what's happening here uh, from our wonderful volcano. We do see an elevated uh, level here, but it's really um, not that full of SO2, so interesting to see. And this circulation here, that's likely some uh, rain coming across here. That's going to help uh, get rid of uh, some of that SO2. Uh, same thing with uh, further up north. I'm sure they're getting uh, that uh, better weather or uh, rainy weather uh, to uh, get rid of it. Um, east side of the Hudson's Bay has uh, fires. Ah, over here, this this side, I uh, think it is uh, what you're kind of referring to. Yeah, I'm hoping that this will uh, get rid of uh, some of that SO2. That way they're not going to see all that smoke come down again. Because uh, that moves downward. Well, I think they may be getting some rain down here too. But uh, hopefully that'll help if it is uh, raining there to wash out some of that SO2 and to help with the forest fires of course that is always what you need there Grandma B uh, gifted a one membership uh, thank you very kindly Grandma B and uh, you're a very kind person uh, Grandma B and gifted a one uh, thank you very much Grandma B and Kananaska's country was the lucky guy who got it way to go KC and uh, just happened to be in the right place at the right time. Uh, it's been a smoky uh, the last couple of days here in uh, Metro uh, DDC. Ah, okay, and there, uh, Debbie, thanks for uh, letting us know that. And uh, hopefully it will uh, get a little bit better for you guys. So um, that is awesome. Uh, yep, I finally can, uh, can and ask this country, and uh, that was awesome, Grandma B. Thank you uh, for uh, throwing that in. Let's uh, put this back on the multi screen and uh, see what we got cooking. It is, oh wow, a Scott Hartman just threw in a five pack of uh, memberships, and congratulations to Raymond Bensler and Matt and Jen and Julie and uh, Tom True Love and Hans Wilbury. Uh, congratulations uh, for uh, receiving those uh, memberships. That is uh, very cool and thank you Scott. Uh, I'm just going to write that down. Scott Hartman. Uh, there we go. And uh, gifted, uh, gifted a five pack. That is uh, very kind of you Scott. Thank you. Just got home. Uh, that is awesome, Scott. Thank you very kindly. And uh, glad that uh, you popped in here and uh, did that. We really do appreciate that wonderful support. And uh, that is excellent. So a few more guys there got, uh, got nailed. Um, really awesome. Okay, it is a time for me to take one more break. And um, after the break, we'll just uh, kind of relax a little bit and uh, pop around the screens and see what we may be able to see for tomorrow and get some ideas of uh, what goes on and just to uh, remind everyone uh, tomorrow of course is uh, Saturday and uh, for those uh, who are living in places where it gets too late too quickly um, the uh, stream uh, starts a few hours early so a volcano X will be oh uh, oh oh um, yep I did spell it right <laughs> I thought I missed it uh, two pineapples oh uh, just went live awesome uh, so um, that is a uh, good uh, today is Friday well TGIF then uh, thanks uh, grandma B it is a uh, Friday and uh, it's uh, 7.32 on my break time. So keep smiling, play nice in the lava, you guys, and I will be back in about five or six or seven minutes. And uh, then we'll uh, just uh, have a little uh, 
general uh, chat and relax a little bit and maybe poke, poke at some of the other uh, volcanoes around the world real quick like like uh, I know it's still snowing at Popo Cante Pedal and I know it's also a really nice skiing at uh, Mount Ruapehu in New Zealand so maybe we'll uh, take a look at those I don't know we'll see we'll see I'll be back keep smiling hit that like button if you haven't done that yet and also if you have not yet subscribed to the channel consider subscribing if you like what you see I'm your host Dr. Fox 2000 here in Edmonton Alberta Canada I'll be back in about five six or seven minutes and uh, yeah don't go away thanks
we go. Microphone is back on. And welcome or welcome back, everyone. I'm glad to have you all here still. And uh, thanks, uh, Sue and uh, Scott Hartman. I appreciate that. And um, yeah, I'm just watching the uh, volcano a little bit. And in my opinion, it seems to have uh, picked up a little bit. And uh, thank you, uh, Kananaskis Country. Uh, definitely looks like it's uh, throwing out a little bit more of uh, that uh, good, wonderful little lava chunks. And I hope uh, we, yeah, see it consistent like that, <laughs> where it's uh, going, um, uh, continuing. All right, uh, Sharon Stewart says, I, <clears throat> hang on, uh, I got to get that throat just right. Mm. Let's try this again. Okay. I hear you, Dr. Rebby 2000. No, that didn't sound very good, did it? I'm glad I got a day job. Kananaska's <laughs> uh, country saying, oh, she might come back. Well, you never know. You never know. Um, yeah, and, uh, you know, we're hoping, we're hoping. The, uh, the thing is, if there is indeed a blockage of some sort, and it's uh, going to take a little while for it to uh, work through it and uh, start pushing out uh, some of that material, and uh, you never know how big that actually uh, could be, that bump blockage. And, you know, it may have uh, reduced it to uh, just uh, a quarter of uh, the flow, and you think the pressure would start building up a little bit again if there is still inflow and force it out and uh, she's uh, creeping out on the outside yeah well we'll we'll see what's going on um you know like with the uh, lava flows and so on it's hard to tell what's still happening but one of the things that we're still going to see is movement down into Meridalia and that area because everything that is still underneath the uh, lava flows there is still hot and uh, still liquidy and still moving. Uh, it might move at a slower pace, but it's uh, still going to uh, be assisted by gravity and moving down the hill a little bit more. Um, pushing further into Meridalia. Now, if it quits at this point, I don't think it'll get out of Meridalia, but I think, um, you know, if this restarts uh, to a full blast, you know, to, uh, say, a 12 or 15 or even uh, up to a 30 uh, cubic meters per second, if it goes back up this high, I don't know if it's going to push that or if it's going to end up running over top of the existing lava or if it is indeed going to go uh, through lava tubes again uh, that would be a uh, pretty uh, interesting to see and uh, Patriot Roydy uh, or Roy yeah I haven't seen you for a while uh, good to uh, see you there uh, we can't tell if the uh, same amount of uh, gas is coming out yeah, right now I don't know what the volume of gas is. We did have that report that they had up to uh, the 31st. So we're going to have to wait till I think Wednesday or Thursday before we see another report. And uh, by the way, just to let you guys know, um, Wednesday, uh, sorry, uh, Thursday and Friday um, coming up, I will be in... Um, uh, Peace River okay I have a job up there so a uh, Thursday and Friday will not have a stream and uh, right now the way things sit is if we set it up I'm gonna try to set this up so um, it will uh, try to stay running but I will also not have a way to uh, check in and fix anything if it uh, does happen to go awry uh, via my, um, well, I, I won't have the, the laptop available. I cannot use the company laptop. It's against the rules. So, um, and of course, I haven't got my other one fixed yet. 
and uh, that is going to take uh, a bit for them to uh, do and I'm waiting for the right time to get that fixed but uh, that will happen in the near future but for right now uh, so a uh, Thursday and Friday Thursday morning I will leave the stream on as long as the uh, volcano is still erupting we'll leave it on and uh, keep the fingers crossed I'll uh, close off all the unneeded um, windows and that'll lighten the load for the computer and uh, hopefully it will be able to uh, chug away uh, during uh, the uh, time that I'm gone uh, the lava fountains seem to be picking up yes J cell and uh, let's see I think uh, going by the last two volcanoes uh, there, uh, there is a, a good chance it will uh, start up again uh, uh, again as before yep we certainly hope um, if uh, if it can get to, uh, past the uh, blockage uh, if it is in, indeed a uh, block yeah that's uh, the thing uh, that's kind of what we're thinking uh, ooh, uh, that was uh, the brightest uh, yeah bright uh, burst uh, there's another one so um, yeah and to me it looks like it's definitely picking up a pace and uh, that is always really nice to see you guys so a uh, very very awesome and of course we will try to keep uh, keep a apprised of uh, what's going on um, the uh, streams on uh, uh, Monday Tuesday Wednesday will uh, definitely be uh, still intact but uh, uh, Thursday uh, so Thursday no str uh, well this, uh, I'll have it on but we'll see what happens hopefully it won't shut down looks like it's uh, picking up uh, some uh, steam yeah, I hope it's more than just steam, Siggy. <laughs> it is definitely throwing out a lot more uh, lava bits than it was before. So let's uh, let's not jinx it and uh, keep our fingers crossed. And uh, hopefully there is a buildup within that little uh, crater, and we'll see more lovely lava popping out. That would really, really be awesome. But um, I, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Of course, we're going to keep an eye on it all night long and um, keep our fingers crossed that uh, we uh, do see more popping out. Might be that the lava is uh, uh, slowing as it uh, cools and uh, filling uh, the uh, tubes and uh, raising the uh, level uh, in the cone. Yeah, um that would definitely be happening Siggy if of course if the lava is slowing down a bit and constricting the lava tubes um, that would then in, uh, basically allow it to uh, regain a little bit pressure to get some high shots out of here so hopefully um, you know the, it's going to uh, increase that flow rate that's uh, that's basically what we're after right now and hoping that you know whatever was in there if there was indeed something blocking it that and uh, that will uh, get washed away more with more activity and uh, that would definitely help us out and uh, get the uh, volcano going again uh, we uh, do know though that there is still lots of uh, magma down there in that chamber according to Yvonne and um, you know we've uh, used what was it 16 million cubic meters uh, out of uh, the uh, uh, potential uh, 73 to 75 million cubic meters uh, plus we had inflow so um, we're st thinking that we still have 55 million cubic meters plus in that magma chamber and if that is the case still lots of juice to go and uh, hopefully we can see something uh, any news of the height of the new cone nah I haven't heard a darn thing anyone else have a height um, I don't know if uh, Siggy have you heard anything how tall that is I know the eastern side is a little bit taller than the west but other than that that's about it I, I don't know if there was more happening there. 
but I like seeing that. Uh, nothing since uh, uh, it hit a 46 meters. Okay, it uh, actually got to 46 meters. Wow. I didn't know it was that tall. I, I thought it was uh, somewhere around 40-ish. But um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, if it is uh, that tall, that's awesome. Uh, 46 meters, of course, is uh, roughly, what is it, 130, almost 140 feet? Yeah, it'd be about 140 feet. And uh, that's not a bad size. And I like that it's picking up here. And uh, we are seeing more and more lava that's uh, nice to uh, have that happening and again that air is circulating in there almost looking like a, a lava tornado at uh, times so pretty cool I like it anyway I'm just about done here uh, the red glow looks ghostly yep uh, that is from the floor of the old lava uh, when uh, where it started uh, yeah uh, so from that ground level basically upward ooh that's a big uh, splash a sploosh splash splot anyway yeah lots of lava coming out uh, so yeah and time for me to wrap things up ladies and gentlemen and of course uh, remember tomorrow is a Saturday so the stream will be on earlier and just so everyone uh, remembers that and uh, that is uh, the uh, well the stream will be on all night but um, where the show will be on earlier uh, it of course will be on at uh, 2 p.m. mountain time 4 p.m. Eastern on a Saturday so all are good and uh, Siggy you're most welcome and I want to say a thank you to each and every one of you for being here today. We really do appreciate all of you. A big thank you to our moderators, Arizona Snowman, and a Piggy, and Sue, and Siggy, and CND Boy, and Gary, 24-7 Live, AZ Skies, and Yvonne Kunkel, as well as uh, Lucas Snow, Joseph Hills, Texas, and Mona Lisa Smiles. Thank you, moderators, for being here and doing your thing. And I really do appreciate all of you. And I also want to say a big thank you to, um, this includes from the other um, stream earlier, uh, the uh, Super Chats and uh, Gifts. So a uh, thank you to Lucianne and uh, Kate and uh, JB and, and jo uh, Jonesy Music uh, gifted uh, one membership there and Sleepy Dormouse and then uh, Piggy and uh, Kevin uh, Williams and uh, Grandma B gifted uh, one and then uh, Kevin Haynes uh, threw in a, a $2 super chat and then uh, Scott Harpin of course gifted a five pack and uh, Thank you all, all of you for that wonderful support that really does help out. And of course, that'll keep that stream thing happening. So thank you kindly, everyone. I do appreciate it. And on those friendly notes, time to get some dinner for myself on the plate. And I think I, I've been craving hot dogs for a while. I think I'm gonna make some hot dogs. And um, thanks, Asu, and uh, great stream today. Love it. It's it's a sloshy way more uh, than a one hour ago. Yeah, it, it definitely is, and we definitely have an uh, uptick in activity. And uh, we'll have to keep uh, looking at that and see what happens. Um, I want to look at that new uh, chart. Uh, that uh, ODF chart. I want to see if we can uh, spot cycles in there of uh, it uh, going up and down. Grandma B, you can get some sleep now. It's uh, that time of the day. <laughs> uh, Scott Hartman saying uh, thank you and uh, Dr. Fox for the uh, best volcano show on YouTube. And uh, thank you kindly, Scott. And that is awesome. Okay, uh, time to wrap it up, ladies and gentlemen, so be good.
uh, Siggy saying a later y'all uh, good night uh, and uh, be good and uh, you as well Siggy uh, take care and thanks for being here and uh, thank you all uh, for being here so on the way out if you didn't happen to hit that like button give it a quick bump and uh, if you are still kind of lurking and you haven't subscribed yet maybe uh, hit that subscribe button help us out and make the, the channel grow on uh, that friendly uh, note we're gonna wrap it up thank you everyone again I appreciate you all being here and uh, only one thing left to add please please tell your loved ones that you love them tonight for tomorrow is never promised I'm your host, Dr. Fox 2000, here in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, and we'll see everyone tomorrow. Thank you, and good night, and oink, oink.
Thank you.